Good afternoon. Thank you for joining us today with Dr. Imran and homeopathy. I'm Ahava McLaughlin and I am a naturopath and I will be um, speaking from a naturopathic perspective today and then we will be hearing from Dr. Imran for um, eye and vision, eyesight and vision. Um, we are excited to share with you today. So stay tuned for his homeopathic protocols and what each homeop homeopathy stands for and how to use it correctly. I am going to talk a little bit about herbals. And um, I have some great um, remedies to share with you all today. And I'm first going to start off with um, uh, speaking on two, two, two remedies for eyesight. Um, so first off, Dr. Christopher, he's a really great um, herbalist from the 70s, and he has an amazing line. And one of the uh, tinctures he's created is called Herbal Eye Bright. And in this tincture, um, it has, I will tell you, bayberry, bayberry bark, eye bright herb, wildcrafted golden seal, well-crafted red, red raspberry leaf and a little bit of cayenne pepper. So there's a little bit of spice to it. Um, the cayenne pepper basically brings heat to the area to stimulate the immune system to do its job. And this formulation has helped lots of people have clearer vision as well as clear whites of the eyes. So that's a good, um, that's a good, uh, uh, side benefit there as also can be very helpful for any kind of bacterial infections because it has golden seal in it. Okay, so I'm going to post on the chat where you can get this. Give me one second. Here's the chat. Okay, so that way everybody gets it. It's called Dr. Christopher's Herbal Eye Bright Formula. Now, how do you use it? You get an eye wash cup and you can find, um, you know, different ones on the internet. Um, they should be made from glass, um, it, preferably. And um, okay. So what you do is you start off very, very slow with some room temperature distilled water or purified water for the eye bright formula. Um, you would only start with two drops. You could work your way all the way to 12 drops, for example, but we always start low and slow. So if it does have some involuntary eye closure for a minute or two as it begins to act, it won't be so intense. So what you do is you put the eye bright formula, two drops first, and then you add the water because you don't want it sitting on the top and then that going undiluted into your eye. It won't hurt you long term, but it will maybe sting a little bit in the moment. Okay, so um, if you want to make sure that it mixes well together. And you start with two drops, and then you can increase as you feel the need to. So two, two drops might give a little bit of a stinging, um, tingling, sorry, tingling sensation. Four drops is mild tingling and warming sensation. Six drops will give you more of a moderate tingling and warming sensation. Eight drops will give you a warming and burning sensation. And, you know, 12 drops obviously is for the, the person who is uh, uh, very daring. So for eye infections and conjunctivitis, you can use at least six to eight drops in water or three to six times a day. For eyesight problems, you work your way up. Um, I would say using it two to three times a day. Um, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and post that as well in the in the chat. So that way you have the instructions. Okay, here we are. Oh, it's saying it's too long. Okay. One second. Try this. There we go. All right, so that's that's one. And do I before I move on? Do I have any questions on this particular format? There's lots of testimonials on Dr. Christopher's website on this. Um, it is it's it's a great formula. Um, I really enjoy it. Okay, now. I haven't heard anything, seen anything. Okay, so I'll go ahead and move forward. 
The next one is called, um, would, we would use castor oil. So castor oil and pearl powder. I'm gonna go ahead and drop it in the chat here, the pearl powder uh, link. And um, this pearl powder is, is fresh water um, and it's a natural superfood to the hair, nails, skin, and eyes. It supports brain function, sleep, and glutathione levels. And it, is, it may alleviate some skill aim, ailments and brain fog. Now, how do we use this together? We take a little bit of the pearl powder, I'm writing it in the chat, with some castor oil and mix and massage the um, eye area, okay, for a couple minutes daily, okay? So you mix the two and you basically just massage the outer area. So this one, you're not gonna be putting it in the eye itself. You'll just be massaging it like this, back and forth, stimulating the lymphatic system. The castor oil is deep acting. It goes in through the dermal layers of the skin and it can really, really help um, with uh, vision. So that is another tidbit there um, that, you know, that I really enjoy um, as well. Um, so also the optic nerve, um, the frequency wise, um, if you have abilities to send frequencies, that's also another avenue that you can do to stimulate the optic nerve, sometimes Lyme gets in there and starts causing some um, issues. If you have a thyroid issue, maybe like Graves or hyperthyroidism, it can also affect the eye and the optic nerve uh, or obviously a blunt trauma to the area. So um, this is something to stimulate that area and get things moving and flowing and draining um, so that it gives the eye the support that it needs. Um, also, um, beta carotene, you know, like vitamin A is also another good option to consider nutraceutically um, for uh, the eyesight. Okay, do I have any questions on these two remedies? Okay. All right, let me just double check I went through everything. I put the links, okay. Okay. I think that is about it for me today. I did, I believe, go over what I wanted to go for over. I think that was pretty straightforward. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the opportunity to introduce you to Dr. Imran. And we look forward to hearing from his, um, what he has to share with us today from his professional experience with vision and eyesight. Thank you, Dr. Imran. Thank you very much. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum, everyone. So here is Dr. Imran from Pakistan. Today our topic is eyes issues. First, I want to talk about eye dryness. So first I want to talk about eye dryness. And first remedy is Econite. A-C-O-N-I-T-E. Econite for dry eyes with intense redness. Econite is the top natural remedy for dry eyes with a marked redness. This remedy acts as an excellent agent to decrease the redness of eyes. Along with redness, the eyes appears hard as well. Econite is also a natural remedy for great help in providing a relief from pain in eyes which gets rose with the motion of eyes. A sand like gritty feeling in eyes may appear to the person needing aconite can also have an, an increased thirst for water in large quantities as a occupying symptoms.
तो वी आर यूज एकोनाइट इन थर्टी सी एकोनाइट इन टू हंड्रेड सी एकोनाइट इन वन एम एंड एकोनाइट टेन एम फिफ्टी एम अकॉर्डिंग टू दी पेशेंट कंडीशन नेक्स्ट रेमेडी इज बेलाडोना बीई डबल एल ए डी ओ डबल एन ए बेलाडोना फॉर पेनफुल ड्राई आईज टू रिलीव द पेन ड्यू टू ड्राई आईज बेलाडोना इज वेरी बेनिफिशियल नेचुरल रेमेडी द पेन इन द आईज मे बी थ्रबिंग और शूटिंग इन नेचर बेलाडोना इज ऑल्सो द बेस्ट रेमेडी when the eyes feel heavy with pain and a few persons complain of exhaustion of of pain from eyes to the head along with pain in eyes there are there may appear redness heat and itching in eyes to light also seems to present along with the, these symptoms we are use belladonna in 6c belladonna in 12c belladonna in 30c belladonna in 200c belladonna in 1m according to the patient condition next remedy is sulfur s u l p h u r sulfur for dry eyes with itching and burning Sulfur is the best natural remedy to control itching and burning in eyes with dryness. Majority of cases of dry eyes with itching and burning can be managed with the use of sulfur. Along with the burning, tingling, there is a gritty sensation and smarting in the eyes. The eyes get extremely dry with itching and burning. Sulfur is also considered as a severe dry eyes remedy when the dryness of eyes gets a little better in the open air while being in a room rosen the dryness sulfur is a great helpful when there is an acute to light especially sunlight blurring of vision while reading also calls for the use of sulfur we are use sulfur in 12c in 30c in 200c and in 1m according to the patient condition next remedy is arsenic album a r s e n i c arsenic a l b u m arsenic album for dry eyes on using artificial light arsenic album is the top natural remedy for persons with dry eyes whose condition rosen in artificial light artificial light refers to light from any source other than sunlight arsenic album can control various symptoms of dry eyes very efficient efficiently like marked dryness of eyes with sensitivity to light this is accompanied by burning in the eyes burning may get a little better by warmth for using arsenic album and other symptoms for using arsenic album is etching or shooting pain in eyes arsenic album is also the most suitable remedy when the swelling redness and heat in eyes get rose in artificial light we are use arsenic album in 6c in 12c in 30c and in 200c and in 1m according to the patient condition
नेक्स्ट रेमेडी इज नेट्रम म्योर एन ए टी आर यू एम एम यू आर नेट्रम म्योर फॉर ड्राई आईज डेट गेट रोज वाइल रीडिंग नेट्रम योर इज कंसिडर टू बी देश ट्रीटमेंट फॉर ड्राई आईज वेन दंडीशन रोज एन विद रीडिंग नेट्रम योर कैन हेल्प इज relieving burning smarting pain in the eyes with dryness in eyes on reading natremore is also the best remedy for sand like sensation in eyes and blurring dimness of vision with dry eyes while reading we are use natremore in 3x natremore in 6x natremor in 12x natremor in 24x natremor in 30c natremor in 200c and natremor in 1m according to the patient condition next remedy is cyclamen next remedy is cyclamen C Y C L A M E N for dim vision with spots before eyes. It is a natural remedy prepared from the root of plant cyclamen, commonly known as a soap bread. The plant belongs to family. This remedy is recommended when there is a dimness of vision occupied with spots or fiery spot. parks before eyes there may also be freckling of different colors glittering needles before the eyes there is a difficulty to deficiency objects clearly due to blue red vision headache is also present with this we are use cyclamen in 30c and in 200c and in 1m according to the patient condition next remedy is lecan l a c c a n lecan for headache with blue red vision and nausea vomiting this remedy is well indicated when there is a headache attended with blue red vision and nausea vomiting next symptoms that can be there in cleared colored spots before the eyes difficulty in reading during reading look at objects closely there appears film over the eyes pain in the eyes is also felt we are use this remedy in 30c and in 200c and 1m according to the patient condition so next topic is next i want to talk about top grade remedies for glaucoma top natural homeopathic remedies for glaucoma is a second part first remedy is fast for us for glaucoma with optic nerve damage in the list of the top remedies for glaucoma fast for us top the list it is also indicated for glaucoma when the optic nerve is damaged the main symptoms guiding the use of this remedy is tiredness of eyes all the time the eyes seem very tired even when they are not engaged in much work the eyes seem to be ex exhausted along with the fatigue of eyes the vision is blurred and the patient feels that every object is under the cover of dust when he or she looks at around light is it is also important symptoms and other key symptoms in the slightly improved vision by shading the eyes with hands 
by drawing this the objects that look blurry it seems somewhere somewhat clear phosphorus help in improving the eyesight and the fatigue of eyes we are use this remedy in 30c and in 200c and in 1m according to the patient condition next remedy is belladonna next remedy is belladonna for glaucoma with acute symptoms belladonna is the best for acute symptoms in a patient of glaucoma the patient the main symptoms include sudden increase in dimness of vision the eyes appear red this is accompanied by a severe pain in eyes and head the pain is very violent in tractor nausea and vomiting may also we are use belladonna in 30 c belladonna in 200 c and belladonna in 1 m according to the patient condition next remedy is osmium can o s m i u m osmium can for improving dim vision osmium is of great help in improving dim vision the intracular pressure is raised in persons needing osmium the important symptoms listed by the patient is the display of various changing able changeable colors of an object when look at from different angles like a rainbow iridescent vision the patient may also have an intolerance to light we are use osmium can in 30 c osmium can in 200 c according to patient condition next and very important remedy is physostigma p h y s o s t i g m a physostigma for glaucoma following injury for an if in effective treatment of glaucoma following injury physostigma is the best natural homeopathic remedy the symptoms may be dim vision blurring of vision or partial blindness along with dim vision the patient may suffer from pain in eyes the pain is usually rose after using the eyes patients of glaucoma with myopic condition also respond well to this remedy we are use physostigma in mother tincture physostigma in 1x 2x 3c 6c 30c 200c and 1m according to the patient condition but this remedy physostigma always giving me a good result in a lower potency next remedy is pronus spinosa p r u n u s s p i n o s s a pronus spinosa for sudden pain in right eyes Prona spinosa is the ideal natural homeopathic remedy of sudden pain in right eye as a result of glaucoma. Prona spinosa works mainly for red eye pain. Pain is eye is so acute and violent that it result in a bursting sensation in the eyeball. We are use this remedy in 30 c and in 200 c according to the patient condition. next remedy is cedron c e d r o n cedron for severe pain in the left eye in contrast to prona spinosa the action of natural remedy cedron is a consider on the left eye of glaucoma patient cedron is the 
ideal remedy for severe violent pain in the eye, especially left eye. The onset of pain may show certain it is occurrence pain may show radiation uh, to the nose. We are used this remedy in 30C and in 200C according to the patient condition. Next and third topic is blurred vision. First and top grade remedy is natrum mure. Natrum mure is a leading remedy for managing blurred vision. Person needing it have difficulty in seeing object clearly. They also have frequent dimness of vision when reading and writing along with this. They may also have complain of double vision and other symptoms. They have is seeing fairly zigzag spots, streaks of light or black spots in front of the eyes. They also have eye strain, etching in eyes is also felt by them. In some cases, needing it, there may be redness of whiteies of eyes, watering from eyes, sensitivity to light, inflamed. Along with this, there can be smarting, itching, and burning in the eyes. It is also indicated for headache occupied with disturbed vision. We are used Natramure in 3X, Natramure in 6X, Natramure in 12X, Natramure in 24x, Natramure in 30c, Natramure in 200c, and Natramure in 1m according to the patient condition. Next remedy is Gelsemium for blurred vision with headache. G-E-L-S-E-M-I-U-M, Gelsemium. This remedy is prepared from the bark of the root of plant, Gelsemium, commonly known as a yellow jasmine. This plant belongs to family. It is a significant remedy to manage blurred vision along with headache. Sometimes there is double vision also pain above eyes is felt Sometimes there is a double vision also pain above eyes is felt with this. Next, there can be black specks before eyes. There is also difficulty in reading and writing from dim vision. Heated sensation in eyes may with this. Pain in eyes in yet another attending symptoms. We are used this remedy Gelsemium in Mertenture. Gelsemium in 1x. Gelsemium in 6x. In 6c. In 30c. In 200c. and gelsemium in 1M according to the patient condition. Next remedy is phosphorus. P-H-O-S, P-H-O-R-U-S, phosphorus for dim vision with sanction of everything covered with the mist.
this remedy is beneficial for cases in which there is a deminence of vision with the sanction as if everything is covered with the mist. In such cases, other symptoms that are present include double vision and fluttering black spots before the eyes. It is an effective remedy for blurring of vision after reading. Lastly, this remedy is well indicated to improve vision in cases of glaucoma. We are used this remedy in 30C and in 200C according to the patient condition. Next remedy is Ruta. Ruta for blurred vision with eyes, pain, and burning in eyes. It is, it is a prominent remedy for cases of blurred vision with pain and burning sanction in eyes. It is also leading remedy for blurred vision with straining of eyes. It is indicated for blurring of vision from reading for an extended period of time and straining eyes at fine work like saving along with above symptoms, there may be watering from the eyes. We are used Ruta 30C, Ruta 200C, Ruta in 1M according to the patient condition. Next remedy is physostigma. P H Y S O S T I G M A. Physostigma for dim, blurred vision when object seems mixed. This remedy is prepared from beans of plant physostigma, also called calabar bean. This plant belongs to family. It is indicated for those complaining of dim has the vision to them the objects seem mixed together they may also see black spots or fl flashes of light before eyes next they have pain in their eyes after using them they also feel dull pain over the eyes and between the eyes sometimes they are they have double vision too we are use physostigma in mother tensure, physostigma in 1M and physostigma physostigma in 1M. Next remedy is Belladonna. B E W L A D O W N A. Belladonna for blurred vision, eye redness. This remedy is useful to manage blurred vision and reduce eye redness. Along with this eye, pain can be present. The pain can be achieved. Pressure or shooting type, other symptoms that are there include dryness in eyes, and sanction of sand in the eyes and burning sanction in eyes. It is also offers help to manage blurred vision also along with headache, mostly throbbing type in the temporal region means sides are deminence of vision and eye discharge. We are used Belladonna in 30C, Belladonna in 200C, Belladonna in 1M according to the patient condition. 
Next remedy is Pulsatila, P U L S A T I A L L A, Pulsatila nigra. It is significant remedy for managing diminution of vision and eye discharge. There appears a fog or mist before eyes, where it is required along with this bright streak before eyes. May be felt a feeling of pressure in the eyes in is another occupying symptom. It is also indicated for the profuse watering discharge from eyes, yellow thick, especially during the day and diminish of eyes. We are used Pulsatilla Nigra in 30C, Pulsatilla Nigra in 200C, Pulsatilla Nigra in 1M according to the patient condition. Next remedy is Lecan, L-A-C-C-A-N, Lecan for headache with blurred vision and nausea, vomiting. This remedy is well indicated when there is a headache attended with blurred vision and nausea. Vomiting, next symptoms that can uh, be there include colored spots before the eyes, difficulty in reading, during reading or looking at objects. Closely, there appears a film over the eyes. Pain in eyes is also felt when reading. We are used this remedy in 30C and in 200C according to the patient condition. Next and fourth topic is cataract. We are, I want to share some uh, homeopathic remedies for cataract, which we are used, commonly used uh, in our clinical practice. First remedy is Silesia. Silesia is indicated for cataract with weak vision resulting from overuse, overuse of the eyes, cataract cases in which the person seems teeny black particles before the eyes together with deminess of sight are best treated with Silesia. We are used Silesia in 30C, a Silesia in 200C according to the patient condition. Next remedy is Magnesia Carb. Magnesia carfa uh, cataract with the diminished vision where the eyes get easily fatigued from reading. We are used magnesia carb in 30C and magnesia carb in 200C according to the patient condition. Next remedy is natrum self. The most effective remedy for cataract where is occupied by photophobia or natrum self. Natrum self is the best remedy for cataract with photophobia, especially on walking up in the morning. Cataract along with photophobia when walking in the open air, it is it is treated well with natrum self. We are used natrum self in 30C in 6x and natrum self in 30c and natrum self in 200c according to the patient condition next remedy is calcarea floor calcarea floor best remedy for cataract on elderly person also known as an age related in cases in the elderly where the person complain of flicking and sparks before his eyes, 
Calcarea flower is the most effective remedy for cataract in the elderly. Another particular we are used Calcarea flower in 6x, Calcarea flower in 12x, Calcarea flower in 24x, Calcarea flower in 30c, Calcarea flower in 200c, according to the patient condition. Next remedy is antimonium tart. The most recommended remedy for cataract which is developing our antimonium tart is indicated for cataract which is characterized by weak vision and tried eyes. We are used antium tart in 30C and antium tart in 200C. Next remedy is Pulsatilla Nigra. P U L S A T I W L A -L -L Pulsatilla Nigra is very effective for, uh, for treating cataract with cloudiness of the lens of the eyes occurring at the very entitled stage in the case of cataract with the feeling that there is a foreign body in the eyes. So we are used Pulsatilla Nigra in 30C and Pulsatilla Nigra in 200C according to the patient condition. Next remedy is Calendula, C-A-L-E-N-D-U-L-A. Calendula is top rated remedy for cataract that develop after an injury. Calendula is very effective from injury where the person sends a foreign body in the eyes. So we are used Calendula in Marathanchar and Calendula in 30C according to the patient condition. Next remedy is Seniga, S-E-N-E-G-A, Seniga. The most effective remedy for cataract that develops after surgery are Seniga. Seniga is the most reliable among remedy for an cataract that develops after surgery and cause flicking and double vision. The persons feel the need to wipe the eyes frequently for cataract that develop after an injury leaving the person feeling brushed and sore in the eyes. So Seniga, we are used in 30C and in 200C according to the patient condition. So one more thing I want to share. If anybody have any type of surgery so silicia always avoid to use in any potency now i want to share uh, some protocol which uh, we are used, commonly used in my clinical practice. So first protocol is for cataract. First remedy is First remedy is Zincum Sulf. Zincum Sulf 1 M every month, 1 dose. Calcarea Floor 6X, Silesia 6X. Mix together these, four rem these two remedies and use 3 times a day. And one uh, Sananaria. Martiana, Martima eye drops. 
use once a day. So next protocol is for glaucoma. Next protocol is for glaucoma. Gelsinium 200C, Arnica in 200C, mix together these two remedies and use twice a day. Caliphas 6X, Natrum Fast 6X, and Calcarea Floor 6X. Mix together these three cell salts and use three times a day. Dr. Imran, can you repeat the, the cell salts, please, one more time? Uh, Caliphas 6X, Natrum Fast 6X, and Calcarea Floor 6X. Mix together these three cell salts and use three times a day. So second, uh, third protocol is also for glaucoma. Gelsinium 200C, Bryonia 200C, mix together these two remedies and use three times a day. And Caliphas 6X, Calcarea Floor 6X and Calcarea Fast 6X. Mix together these three remedies and use three times a day. What was this oh. one for with the with the gelfenium, bryonia, and the three cell salts? Yeah, is second line protocol is for glaucoma. So what were the cell salts again? It was Caliphas and what were the other two? Caliphas, Calcarea Floor, and Calcarea Fos. And did you say the gelsemium and bryonia to take three times a day or two times? Uh, three times a day. Three times? Okay. Okay, so one protocol is for burning, itching, and watery eyes. burning, itching, and watery eyes. Protocol is Belladonna 30C and Epis Malfica 30C. B-E-L-L-A-D-O-N-N-A, Belladonna 30C, A-P-I-S-M-E-L, Epis Malfica 30C. Mix together these three remedies and use, three, uh, these two remedies and use three time a day. Second protocol is for if suddenly swelling in the eyes, if suddenly start swelling in the eyes, so remedy is Econite 30C and Belladonna 30C mix together these two remedies and use three times per day. So next protocol is for weak eye sight. Next protocol is for weak eyesight. Gelsinium 200C, Zincum Met 
200C G E L S E M I U M Gelsinium plus Z I N C U M Zincum M E T Met 200C mix together these two remedies and use once a day. Calcarea fast 6x, Kali fast 6x, Calcarea floor 6x. Mix together these three remedies and use three times a day. This protocol is for all type of age. Weak eyesight, weakness of eyesight. If weak eyesight due to high cholesterol, weak eyesight due to high cholesterol, then we are use phosphorus 30C, phytolaca berry 30C, and cholesterinum 30C. Cholesterinum 30C, Phytolaca Berry 30C, and Phosphorus 30C. Mix together these three remedies and use three times a day. So next protocol is for eyes pressure. Arnica in 200C, Belladonna in 200C, and Bacillinum in 200C mix together and use once a day. Sulfur 200C before breakfast, once a day, and Arnica 200C, Belladonna 200C, and, and Bacillinum 200C. Mix together these three remedies and use at night, once a day. So now I want to share a one remedy, a temporary blindness. Temporary blindness. Top grade remedy is Gelsimium 200C. We are used this remedy in three times a day. And that was for what? Temporary blindness. So anyone have a question about this topic? So I'm here to answer. Yes, thank you so much, Dr. Imran. This was very comprehensive. I, I appreciate it. I do have a question for those who have proptosis of the eye, uh, specifically when dealing with the thyroid. Okay, so uh, you mean to ask uh, weak eyesight due to thyroid? No, uh, proptosis, meaning when the eyeball becomes, moves like by a millimeter and it becomes like bulging eyes, I guess is the best way to describe it. One six zero one seven. 
אוקיי. We are use Breta carb in thirty C Gelsimium in two hundred C and Zincum Sulf in two hundred C. Separately, Zincum Sulf in two hundred C twice a day, Gelsimium two hundred C in twice a day, and Breta carb thirty C three times a day. I repeat again, Zincum Sulf 200C twice a day, Gelsimium 200C twice a day, and Breta Carb 30C three times a day. Thank you so much. Uh, excuse me, do you have um, a protocol for nearsightedness, please? Say again, please. Nearsightedness. Calcarea floor 6x. Calcarea fast 6x. and Silicia 6x, mix together these three cell cells and use three times a day. And Ruta 30C, three times a day. Calcarea Floor 6x, Calcarea Fast 6x, and Silicia 6x, mix together these three cell cells and three times a day. And Ruta 30C, three times a day. Thank you. <clears throat> Would you have anything for iritis? Say again, please. For iritis? Can you write, please? In okay. After a uh, cataract surgery, no, uh -uh, they, they get, after, it just happens. After. It's like they get um a thick catarrh up in the head from allergies, and then um the eyeball starts to hurt and it gets really red. Okay, so top grade remedies. Merxol. For Merxol in 200C, three times a day. And with eyeball redness, Belladonna in 200 C three times a day. And if pain, then we are used Mercor 30 C three times a day. 
ਮਰਕ ਸਾਲ 200 ਸੀ 3 ਟਾਈਮ ਆ ਡੇ ਫਾਰ ਰੈਡਨੈਸ ਬੈਲਾਡੋਨਾ 200 ਸੀ 3 ਟਾਈਮ ਆ ਡੇ ਫਾਰ ਪੇਨ ਮਰਕ ਆਰ 30 ਸੀ 3 ਟਾਈਮ ਆ ਡੇ the mark core is at 30c or 200c 30c 30c okay. thank you welcome so anyone have another question i want to say thanks to everyone so next sunday same time we meet again here uh, with new topic and thank you very much thank you appreciate it always welcome